I wanted to give you a couple tips on how to polish out a weld like this. Obviously the first thing that you need to, to pay attention to is the actual size of the weld. The smaller the weld, the less you're going to have to grind off. Now I've already done all the smoothing over here between these two pieces. There's one here and there's one over here. So I've already pretty well gone and, and, and smoothed this out. This one over here, I obviously haven't touched on it at all. So, first, like I said, first off, make your welds as small as they need to be. Second, I like to use the flap wheels instead of the, uh, the composite grinders. And this is actually a pretty uh, gritty one. This one's, let's see if I can get the light on that, 40 grit. So, really the trick here, keep this disc as flat as possible. Don't dig in with the tip like that. A lot of times you'll have to do that with other projects, other grinding projects. This one you just want to keep it as flat as possible. And then you, you'll see some little craters on each side when you get this flat. About that time is when you need to come in with your DA sander and just start polishing that down. Uh, right now I've got a 60 grit uh, sanding disc on there and what I'll do is I'll come in, that'll get the majority of it down. It does take a lot longer with this than it does with the grinder, but you don't want to dig in. You want this to be smooth and look like it's one uniform piece. So uh, the biggest tip here is patience. Uh, don't get carried away. and uh, It'll come out looking like one solid piece. I got all the, the welds smoothed down and I uh, hit the entire tube, uh, finished it off with uh, 150 grit there on the uh, DA sander and then just uh, used some the same old uh, car cleaner and a rag and just kind of wiped it down, make sure I got all the crud off of there, kind of clean the crud out of the inside as well. Uh, so this is just about finished. We got one kind of major thing that we still need to do and that's to make a port somewhere in this tube. Uh, for the uh, PCV valve. So it's a new day and I had to put the, uh, the old uh, air tube back on the truck just so I could drive around. Uh, I mentioned uh, last night that I need to uh, make a fitting on the new air tube for the PCV uh, connection. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention, there's also a little clip under here. And I forget what these little clips are called. I always just refer to them as little Christmas tree clips. Uh, but this is uh, upper radiator hose here. Uh, does have some support uh, from the air box so uh, I am going to fabricate a little uh, tab on the new uh, air intake tube uh, so that I can put this little clip and uh, have that support for the radiator hose on the new intake tube. <laughs> 